Masculine and feminine energy is a topic I talk about all the time. And it's a really big part of relationships, okay? And it's a lot of, so many people struggle with masculine and feminine energy. And it seems to be a very large cause of why so many people have trouble with relationships these days, okay? Society is really pushing men to be more feminine and they're pushing women to be more masculine. And everyone in between is wondering why relationships and dating are so difficult. It's a big part of it, yeah? It's a big part of it, masculine and feminine energy. But let's talk about, let's talk about women for a second. What makes a woman masculine? Why do women fall into their masculinity or get pushed into their masculinity? Well, it's, it's really a few reasons. So women get pushed in their masculinity because there's a lack of masculine around, men around them, okay? Which causing them, it, they subconsciously, they feel like they need to take over, be in control, okay? Because they feel like the, the, the men around them can't do a good enough job and they can't lead the situation. So realistically, women often step into their masculine energy because they don't feel emotionally safe in a situation. That's what it's really about. And a woman won't be in her feminine energy unless she feels emotionally safe. Okay, so it's very important, any guys watching this, if you want your woman to be more masculine, if you want your woman to be more feminine, then you gotta make her feel emotionally safe. If she doesn't feel emotionally or physically safe around you, she's gonna step into that masculine energy herself in order to protect herself, okay? So, you know, and the problem with that is, when a woman's in a masculine energy, her walls go up, okay? In order to protect herself so she's not in harm's way. And the problem is, it's not where love lives, okay? It's not a good spot for love to blossom. So if you want a lot of love in your life, which is really a big part of relationships, obviously, love and happiness, if a masculine woman, it's, it's not part of it, okay? A masculine woman isn't very happy. Her walls are up really high and she's uh, anxious, she's overthinking, self-sabotaging just has a very hard time with happiness and love. You don't really want that, okay? Femininity is such so much more of a beautiful state. It's a shining, you're shining, you're being, it's, it's beauty, okay? So, but look, if, if you're a female and you wanna step in that feminine energy, it's gonna be 10 times easier if you surround yourself with masculine men, 10 times easier, okay? If you're around feminine men, it's gonna be really hard because you don't feel emotionally safe or physically safe in that environment. And even if you try really, really hard to stay in your feminine energy, your subconscious will push you into your masculine energy because it will say, hey, there's no one here who's gonna protect you. You have to protect yourself. And uh, well, short answer, it's impossible to get to a 10 out of 10 relationship with a woman in her masculine energy. It's just, it's just not gonna happen, unfortunately, okay? So if you really want that 10 out of 10 relationship, Masculine and feminine energy matters. You got to do it right, and you got to focus on it, and you got to you got to try to really embody those masculine and feminine energy traits. Okay, the man needs to be more masculine than the woman. So many couples fail with this. I talk to couples every day, and they just it's it's really sad. Actually, it's a really big problem in today's society. So try really hard to step into those. If you're a female, try really hard to step into those four traits of femininity: nurturing, caring, supportive, joyous. Obviously, a hell of a lot easier to do when you're surrounded with masculine men because you can step into that feminine energy safely, okay? So give it a shot, and if you're really struggling with masculine and feminine energy, hit me up. I have a masculine and feminine energy guide and a few other resources which may help, okay? I know it's easier said than done. Masculine and feminine energy is difficult. It is easier said than done, and I wish it, people could just step in into it easily, but it actually takes a fair bit of practice and hard work but it's worth it. Yeah, you gotta put in the hard work because you know a lot of the people watching this, you already know what you're doing now isn't working. So concentrate on the masculine and feminine energy, you'll see that it makes a big difference and it'll also make you feel more happy and more confident within yourself, okay? You gotta remember if you're a woman and you're in your masculine energy, there's no, there's no happiness there. It's not real strength, okay? Your walls are up or a fake, it's a facade of confidence and strength, it's not real, okay? So it may feel like you're strong in that area. You're not strong. You're not. That's, it's coming from a place of fear. That's not strength, okay? That femininity, stepping in your femininity, that's strength, all right? I know it takes a bit of practice and it is a complicated issue. So if you want to know more, hit me up. I'll help you out. It does take some practice.